and welcome back to Karate Combat. And I am both happy and sad to tell you that this is the season finale of season three. Now, throughout this entire season, we have been exploring some of the fantastic moments in history across the century uh, from karate. Myself, Josh Palmer, and Bas Rutten, we are bringing you another stacked fight card tonight, including, of course, that 61 kilo title fight between Owen Chelmia and Ilias Mardi. Man, Josh, I can't believe the season is coming to an end. It might have been the best season ever, for me, at least. I mean, the places we've been to, the fights that we've seen been amazing. I mean, everything has been amazing, and I hope that the people at home learned a little something about the history of karate. I know, I sure did. Now, before we dive into tonight's stacked fight card, we do have one more video for you, featuring Bas Rutten and George St. Pierre. How, how, is that, how is it possible that this guy is at every single event that we have? That's weird, right? So let's talk about the difference between point karate and karate combat, which is full contact karate. In the beginning here at uh, karate combat, you saw literally guys, they were fighting and they threw points, yeah, and they stopped. And then that guy just started coming with combinations. They realized, oh, crap, I got to make sure that I'm going to make combinations. So these guys, you saw them grow and getting stronger and stronger. You have to understand, we have Olympic level athletes here who turned away to karate combat and now fight full contact. That's right. When karate started in the 1800s in Okinawa, it was more like karate combat uh, that we have today. Yeah. Uh, perhaps they modify the rules and they make it more like point fighting karate because of safety. Yeah. However, in karate combat, there is no beginners. Yeah. These are for the elite of the elite. So you'll make sure that the fighter that we see, it doesn't get better than this. Yeah, and the origin from karate, the empty hand, right? That's what they said. It's when they took, the government took all the weapons away uh, from, from the people and they realized, oh, we, we need to find something to defend ourselves. And that's how karate was born. That's right. Uh, the idea is to make your body a weapon and knowledge is the weapon. Hey, I don't need a weapon because I am a weapon. Indeed, oh. you are, my friend. <laughs> oh, thank you. Whoosh. Whoosh. I have to say, Bass, I have really enjoyed seeing you and GSP uh, get together over this season. It's been fantastic. You two, Lyoto, I'd love to see you as well. Any of you in the pit would be fantastic. You versus GSP, I shouldn't Ooh. say it, but I would. Oh, look! Oh, they made a fight graphic for you. <laughs> hey, listen, if I was 25 years younger, I would have been in this pit, 100% sure. I mean, that would be so much fun. But you'd still like to see Leoto as well, right? Exactly. That would be pretty cool. <laughs> uh, it's not a no, so I, I will take it. My name is Owen Chamia. I'll be fighting Elias Mardi. I'm a showman. I'm fort, I'm fou. He's a very defensive fighter. I'm more the opposite. I'm just ready to get in there and tear into him. I'm ready to champion du monde because que je le mérite. We of course have that main event for you tonight. Ilias Mardi taking on Owen Chelmia for the 61 kilo golden belt. Before that, we've got a really exciting 68 kilo bout for you between Vitali Sertan and Davis Ferreras. Both these guys bust two and two records. Sertan, he's coming off that TKO of Daniel Viveris not that long ago. Yeah, Sertan said that his opponent made a mistake. Every time when he uh, counters a counter, that's when he gets hurt uh, and that's when he gets knocked out or gets stopped. And he says, I'm going to exploit that. He said he wants to fight close because his opponent has a reach advantage, so let's see if he can do that. Yeah, Ferreras, of course, he's carrying a lot of momentum as well uh, in, in his record. He's coming off that KO win versus Maximilian Mathers. Yeah, and he believes that his opponent is fast, but he says, so am I. And the game plan is to keep attacking him because his opponent is not great at, and I quote, getting hit. Yeah, and uh, Lioto, we've got two guys here. Both believe they are very, very fast. What's it like when you have to be wary of the speed of the opponent? So it's very hard when you have two guys very fast. So one guy has to be, has to outsmart the other guy, like break the, the timing, break the, the rhythm, the fight. That's so important to, to take advantage of, from your, of your opponent. Well, let's see who can do just that. This is the first fight of the evening. It's Vitaly Sertan taking on Davis Ferreras. Our scoring system is uniquely based on the principles of karate, which are effective striking, effective takedowns, aggressiveness, and defense. Meaning that if a fight is close and it's up to the judges to decide, the fighter who drove the action wins. Fighters are also encouraged to use our specially designed 45 degree angled pit walls to their advantage. Fighters cannot use knees or elbows and only five seconds of ground and pound is allowed. 
All bouts tonight are taking place over three three-minute rounds, unless the need to go into overtime is deemed necessary, or if it's a title fight, which consists of five three-minute rounds. Soy Davis Ferreras y vengo de la bella República Dominicana. Mi especialidad para ganar es mi fuerza en mi puño, el Yakosuke. Soy Vital Sertán y voy a luchar con Davis. Él es muy buen oponente, respeto mucho, pero allí dentro, como yo dije, va a ser una guerra. Bueno, la pelea va a ser muy técnica. Somos dos peleadores muy rápidos y muy técnicos, pero yo voy con mi explosividad por el knockout. Infelizmente no soy bruxo, no sé cómo es que va a comenzar, pero sé cómo es que va a acabar. Va a acabar antes del tiempo. Through the portal they come, Davis Ferreras in the black pants, Vitali Sertan in the white pants. Did he just do the split kick, jumping splits? Yes, he did, Sir Tom. I've never seen anyone do that before. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> uh, trying to impress Mr. Rusin, I am sure. And I say it so frequently, but both these guys look really pumped for this bout. Man, these guys are turbos. That's what they are. This is going to be an explosive fight for sure. I cannot see this. Be slow. Vitaly Sertan from Chisinau, Moldova. You can see that mixed record there. He's one of our more experienced competitors, but it, you know, consistency is the problem. He is, however, coming off that fantastic TKO win over Daniel Viveros. We welcome back Dominican Republic military officer Davis Ferreras, also with a 2-2 two two record and coming off that KO victory. said he was very happy with his last fight. He really saw the work he put in in the dojo pay off and hopes he can repeat it this time. Savage go time. Orthodox stance for both fighters as our referee Kevin Sasaki gets us underway. Viveros in the black, oh, sorry, Ferreros in the black pants, Sertan in the white pants. And wow. Interesting lead leg techniques from uh, Ferreros there. Wow, that was a powerful kick, and that I like. Right kick, left hook. And this, Very is, uh, nice. this is some of the, the most circular motion we've seen early on from a fighter here tonight, or, or in this season, should I say. <laughs> yeah. Finally. Boom. Wow, nice snapping front kick. Weep up. Turned a little bit too much on that. Little fake here and there. Yeah, Ferrera's doing good. Oh, what a combination from Ferrera. Missed that first kick, immediately turned it into a spinning back kick. But he needs to connect with one because otherwise he gives away the length of his leg and his opponent knows the distance, you know? He can't do that too much with not landing. There we go, that was beautiful. Yes, yeah, underneath the punch. Sertan's trying to find his way inside for the punches. Good kick to the body there. Yes, yeah, Sertan was nice, yes. Oy, oh, look at that, using the wall. Movement. I love it. Oh, and immediately Whoa. cut off by Sertan. <laughs> yeah, Vitaly Sertan really... Uh, Playing around with his guard there, he's, he's fought some some of the bigger guys in the division, in in Gabriel Chera and uh, and Josh Koi Hagen before. So, you know, although he's one of the smaller guys, that, you know, in this uh, height-wise in this weight class, he really does get stuck in there. Ooh, that was a nice cross. Good time, good yeah. time. Yep. Whoa, ducks under the high kick. I love it. You know, it was interesting in the pre-fight interviews. Uh, Ferreira said to us he felt his game plan was going to be keep attacking because he didn't think Sertan did well when he got punched. Yeah, <laughs> that's it. Yeah, it's, uh, he doesn't like it when he gets oh, put down. We got a left hook. Just forced the coverage from Sertan, who's winging back. Good head movement saves him there, but those punches are really trying to take your head off. Lovely combination of body kicks. Two right, right and left, and then a strike. I love it. That's the right kick yeah. and left hook again. Sertan's nodding at him, but that's a way of saying, yeah, you got me. Yeah. 
Yeah, if they smile, okay, keep going. <laughs> Let them smile again. Oh, the uppercut. Yeah, that was nice. I mean, he improved. He worked hard on it. That is beautiful. Uh oh, 10 seconds, we can land something cool. Yeah, last 10 seconds in round number one. It's been a great round for Davis Ferreras. Ooh. And they're going to head back up to their corners. We're going to take a look at some of the replays from that opening round. And there was a lot. Yeah, let us know what you thought uh, of all these replays. Boom. So I like the way Ferreira was, was throwing punches and kick because he he's moved around, he did a spin kick, he... Oh, Doc says it's like Matrix. <laughs> Beautiful. Right away, come with a one-two, except there's two hooks. Look at that, the right, le right hook, left hook. But Sertan just ate it and just comes back right away. Look at this, and he's avoiding it now, so he's still clear in the head. That's Matrix. Yep. Very cool, right? Yes. Yep. Yeah, and that double kick combination we just saw was really nice from Ferreras, getting the better probably of Sertan yep. over that, uh, that first round. It takes a lot of steam out of you, though. If you miss punches, it takes a lot of steam out of you, and if you miss kicks. So, uh, but he started landing. That's a right-left kick, and then a cross right away. Lioto, what would be your advice for Vitaly Sertan in dealing with the, the movement of Davis Ferreira? So he has to be ahead of Ferreira. You know what I mean? Like, every time when Ferreira moves to the side, he has to be there, ready for Ferreira, ahead of Ferreira, because he's going to be ready for an attack or counter attack. Well, let's see if uh, Sertan can at least predict the movement. It's interesting that uh, there Ferreira is circling into the strong side of Sertan. But that's a beautiful straight punch answering back. Yeah, Sertan was actually doing for a bit what you just said, and he was cutting him off. Yeah. Yep, in the beginning. In the beginning, he was. Yep. Oh, yeah, he, 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 his corner told him, you got to start now. And he's doing it, Sertan. Yeah, nice spinning back kick. Yeah. He's, he's, doing good, he's doing good in cut the angle, but maybe he, he needs more, like, combination. Yep. Yeah, he's using that right roundhouse to cut off Ferreira's movement when he comes to the left. But nothing else off the back end. Oh, trying that outside trip to no avail. They're going to break. I will grab the belt the whole time and just sweep. <laughs> Oh, wow, that was Ooh, nice. That's a nice hook from Sertan. Yeah. Oh, beautiful kick. Look, using the wall to his advantage. Been forced to dance on the wall a couple of times. Yeah. yeah. I love it. Oh, very good kick. Oh, that's my counter too if they grab it. Same my punch. And this is Sertan really oh. turning it up. Oh, look at that uppercut. Just missed. There's a left hook. Oh. Oh. Is he going to keep going? He is indeed. That's a good slinger fight. They are throwing everything at each other. They're rolling the dice. That's what they're doing right now. They went at it. Sertan wants to get straight back in. Oops. Nice whip on that kick, but a little bit short of the target. Still a minute left in round number two. To keep this pace up for the whole minute, that'll be quite something. Left body shot, that could be a setup to a right to the head sometimes. That's what I like to do. Oh, oh it was so slow that you thought it was going to happen. <laughs> I, had, I just want to keep it ahead like that. It's dizzy. Oh, wow. look at that, he ducked again. They both got their legs in there. It was anxious moments for each of them, and then some good defense in head movement. No, I got to make this a technique. Make it forward, because it works. Because I thought I blocked it, I put my heads down, and then the kick landed. And I go, what's going on here? The crowd are rightly getting stuck into this one. Catch of the kick, oh. tries to sweep the leg. So Ferreira me, oh, 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 and Ferreris is not quick to get up off the wall here. No Sertan one. can just freely wail on him here. He doesn't have to let him up. He's not a grounded opponent. He's doing the crane. Oh, <laughs> nice little axe kick to the body. Oh, <laughs> Some gamesmanship <laughs> from Ferreris at the closing round. <laughs> I'm not entirely <laughs> sure what to make of that. That was, that was, yes, that we would say was very fair. Can we, can we do without you? That's a five round fight, right? <laughs> oh. Days, we have one more round coming your way in this opening bout. <laughs> Through two three minute rounds. 
five round fights. It's uh, three this is rounds. A three one. This is three rounds. The so next one coming up. Let's take a look at the replays. There is plenty to look at from this Boom. battle. Boom! Shakalaka. Wow, I like that left kick, left straight. That was nice. Boink. Both. Yeah, this was where Sertan really tried to turn it up and he kept pressing, he kept pressing. He yeah. moved back against the wall, he still kept pressing. Yeah, they were swinging for the fans to sail. Look at this. Nice. Book. That was the kick. I love it. Up got hooks. Whoa! The guard duck. stayed effective for it. Matrix duck. It's the second time he ducked the kick. Okay, now he's got to go. <laughs> what was that? I had absolutely no comment. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. So we have three minutes left. Our referee Kevin Sasaki gets us underway. Davis Ferreras in the black pants, white pants for Vitali Sertan. The people are loving it. I'm loving it. Quick reminder, join us on social media at Karate Combat or on the web at karate.com. Beautiful with the heel. And Ferreira keeps on walking forwards. Man! <laughs> I can take a shot. That was a good kick with the kick with the heel. You heard it. That was not a slap. It honestly wouldn't surprise me if it was one round of peace right now. Yep. Kick the leg, Johnny. Boom, boom, boom. Five five out coming in from the referee. Very smart to go to the body. Yeah, I mean, if the, guy, if the legs are in the way in an open guard, it's hard to reach the head, right? You might as well drop a few into the midsection. 100%, and especially after he landed that, uh, that kick to the body, you know? He might act, be acting right now that he's not hurt. In Thai boxing, I hit, after low kicks, I hit somebody with my gloves to his thighs in the clinch. <laughs> <laughs> because I thought it would help. So, anything helps. Ooh, both firing at the same time. Sertan goes straight back in afterwards. They're still having some gamesmanship with each other, though. Outside trip attempt. Transition to uh, the double. Yeah, good balance, though, Satan. Yeah, good pro perception. Satan's always had a very acrobatic style. Thinks that comes from kind of playful childhood. And this is going to be a hard fight to judge as well. Oof. Yeah, they've got a minute left to try and seal this one. It was two punches from Ferreira. It's hitting the guard, though. The heavy shots. Beautiful left there by Sertan. The heavy shots also for Ferreira. Eats a lot of that body kick. Whoa, he's looking now, punching out. Beautiful land there again, Ferreira. It's interesting, Sertan said to us that the eye movement and mixing up the target areas with the kicks is one of the things he really wanted to do here. Yep, that's what he did. He looked down, kick high. The other way around, almost nobody does, but it's a really good thing to do. I think Ferreras was saying he got caught in the thigh there, but uh, the referee disagreed. And he is slow to get up off the wall here. Oh! Oh, and again. Final 20 seconds. Let's see if he can take advantage oh, of it. And again. Ferraris. Dipping his head, kicking high. Good. Yeah, this. Punches and bunches from both these men. Final 10 seconds. Oh, wow. Davis Ferraris kicks kick are right insane. In the of the pit. And kicks count more than punches, right? Yeah, this so is going to be very hard to judge, but I certainly threw the most kicks. Very hard to judge, but... Yeah, I do think it's going to come down to that third round, and I can honestly not tell you which way it's going to go right now. Yeah, the only reason, the only thing I'm saying, I know that kicks, they count more than kick punches. So since Sir Tan kicks so much... Been yeah, let's take a look at, at some of the replays here. You talk about the kicks, but so that was a nice one. They count this is as a take down to? Yes, this uh, once he's on the ground, yes. With his butt touching the, the, the floor, yeah. that's it. The wall, no. Boom. That was the looking down and making the middle kick. That counted with the cross. Beautifully done by Ferreras. That back kick landed again. He does it again now. See, twice in a row. And now I think he does another kick. Yeah, there we go. 
You see, so, oh man, this is hard to judge because both these guys are swinging. Ooh. Well, happy I'm not a judge, I'll tell you that. Two absolute warriors <laughs> leaving it all out there in the pit. Come here, come here, come here. Come here. judges saw this as far too close to call and rather than opt for a draw they chose a fourth round the fighters are aware this can happen <laughs> and boy are we in for it three more on the <laughs> clock here Vitali Sertan and Davis Ferreras are going to see who can get the better of the other this is it because they both know that if they win this round they win the fight so you gotta go Lyoto, what, what does that do to a fighter's psyche to think, ah, the fight's probably over, oh no, I've got to go one more round. It's hard, it's hard because you expect for three rounds and all of a sudden you have to do one more round. But that's your training at the academy, you know, always push yourself, so always push yourself, so you've got to be ready for any situation here. Yeah, well, let's see who pushed themselves harder in training. Certain opening up with some kicks here. Oh, oh, nice right hand landed. Yeah, by Certain. Front kick <laughs> simultaneously landed a punch and a kick the other person. So if it keeps going like this, we need to go to a fifth round. <laughs> right? I mean, look at this. This is it. <laughs> oh, good shots from Ferreris up top. The Sertan's landing the better of the kicks to the lower body in the midsection. Wow. They're both still pressing forward here. It's anyone's game. The shots keep flying. Good pop from Sertan on that combination. Oh! Look at this. Ferreras has stumbled Sertan a few times throughout this bout. Oh. And that's a nice combination from Sertan Bass. What you always say, punches end with the kick. That's it. You know, well, normally I say wherever you landed the punch last, don't kick there, because most of the time the defense will be there. Ferreras unloading here. The referee's going to call another break. They are exhausted. They seem exhausted. This is crazy. Again, it's uh, four. Yes, I honestly. Like yeah, this is, has to go almost to a fifth round. I mean, how, how can you judge that? <laughs> it's tough to <laughs> it's it's right? Right? Everybody's getting some in. Whoa! Big right hand. Just time though, more to kicking. More kicking. Oh, oh head kick. And there the prices. Whoa! You can hear his feeling. He's feeling the punch. The mm. kick. This is crazy. Oh it just had to happen, otherwise I was looking for a fifth round. I mean, this is crazy. <laughs> Man, this this could be the, the best one. <laughs> this is really cool. What a round. Wow. Yeah, let's take a look back at that knockout, because it came in the middle of a flurry. Boom, look at the back of the head. So he used his face with his eyes. He looked down yep. and used the kick. And he was talking about that during our interviews. We just, just mentioned that as well. Like in the beginning of the fight, we were talking about it. Yeah, it's exactly what he wanted to do. And to Beautiful. get the KO victory with that technique, I'm sure is going to please him a, a whole lot. Wow, Ferreras, while he was on the ground, he didn't want to stop. He still wanted to get up, and the referee kept him down, you know? Yeah, I mean, look, he wants to stay in it, but the reality is, you know, he had, it was a spark knockout, his eyes were gone, yep. he was falling face down, the referee's got no choice for that to stop it. It's a good knockout stoppage and a good win for Vitaly Sertan. Dude, this was a great fight. And Lyoto, some excellent sportsmanship at the end there from two guys who just went to all-out war. I like that because they left everything inside the pit, 
but at the same time with a lot of respect at the end of the fight. Let's head down into the pits and uh, get the hand raised of our winner, Vitali Sertan. A brilliant show of sportsmanship there. I'm sure Davis Ferreras will be disappointed in the loss, but he cannot be disappointed no. in his effort tonight. He cannot. I mean, what a champ. I mean, yeah, he'll be very good in this league. But our winner, Vitaly Sertan, is pit side with Andrea Ocampo. Such an incredible match. The crowd is going absolutely wild. Went to a fourth round. What's going through your mind right now? Bem, por norma, nunca sabemos quando acaba a guerra. E realmente, eu pensava que já acabou a guerra. Mas depois de estarmos preparados psicologicamente, rapidamente, para nós nos concentrarmos outra vez no jogo, que pensar, que pensei que acabou, isso foi uma grande superação da minha parte e provei-me a mim mesmo que estou pronto para desafiar qualquer atleta aqui do Karate Combat e estou à espera para me convidarem para o cinturão. Now tell me what will you want to say to your family at home and your coach because they're very proud of you right now. Isto é uma equipa não ia conseguir ganhar sem o meu treinador, sem a minha família que está por trás porque temos de estar bem psicologicamente em casa, psicologicamente no trabalho e acho que é é o mundo É um ecossistema tem que estar alinhado e o universo vem sorrir aqui. A big congratulations on the knockout. Thank you very much. Yes. Yes. Congratulations on that knockout indeed to Vitali Sertan. Screaming in victory. Robin Black, give us your thoughts on that fight and that knockout. Fam. I have commentated or analyzed 10,000 plus fights, but that is one of the greatest contests I've seen in any type of combat sport. You should have felt what it felt like in here when they went to a fourth round. I know you felt it at home because it isn't just something we're watching, it's something we're feeling. We're feeling the freedom of these fighters exchanging in there. They don't have to be here in the karate combat pit. They want to be here. Yes, Sertan won with that wonderful head kick, but I want to thank both those karatekas for that wonderful for performance. Well, there's an awful lot to look at, but let's try and do it some justice. This is the full fight montage from Vitaly Sertan versus Davis Ferreras. <laughs> first, he started ducking Matrix style underneath. He did that twice in the first three rounds. Bonk, bonk, big punch landed by Ferreras. Brought Vitaly in thing, and now he started bobbing and weaving like nothing ha didn't happen. He did that the first time, yep. and at the end of the fight, he did the same. He looked down, and, and he kicks high. And he kicks high. Yep, and that's exactly his game plan. That's what he was telling us he was going to do. Man, body hat. I mean, he's all over the place. Lots of kicks. I mean, we're always sitting here. Who's going to judge this, right? There was no way that you could judge a fight like this. And thankfully, the judges had the same thing. Yeah, and this is exactly the type of fight that that fourth round mechanism was put in for. You know, yep. just no way to slice this one yep. uh, anyway other than down oh, the middle. Look at that. Yeah, because it hit the back of the head also. And most of the time, yeah, well, you're just not ready for that. Every time when you train, you get punches from the front of the side. So you're ready for that impact, never from the head. Oh, man, <laughs> he had to be <laughs> super happy. What a great fight. Yeah, but, you know, like he said himself, uh, Ferreira should be very happy as well. What a fantastic fight that was. We do, of course, have one more amazing and intriguing fight coming up in our title fight between Owen Chelmia and Ilias Mardi. That is coming your way in just a few short moments. Bonjour, je me présente, Ilyas Mardi, dit The Madman, combattant pro dans l'organisation Karate Combat, et là je vais combattre pour la ceinture. Donnez-moi toute votre force. Je suis né le 25-09-97 à Bourges, dans le centre de la France, et j'ai grandi un peu partout à Paris, Orléans et Montpellier. Mais maintenant je suis sur Paris à Sevran, et c'est la jungle. J'ai découvert le karaté à l'âge de 7 ans, 
c'est mon oncle qui m'a mis dedans, de parce que je me battais tout le temps. Le karaté, ça m'a aidé, je me suis assagi avec le temps. Parce qu'avant, j'étais vraiment plus fou que ça. Bien sûr, savoir se défendre, c'est toujours bien. On gagne le respect des gens et on respecte tout le monde. Bah, le karaté, ça m'a apporté de l'épanouissement. La rencontre avec Davy, elle s'est faite il y a 4 ans de ça maintenant. Bah, C'était le meilleur club de France, meilleur coach, meilleur fighter, meilleur sparring, meilleur ami. Pour moi, c'est un exemple. Il a 40 ans, il rentre encore dans le pit, il a des enfants. En vrai de vrai, il a tout à perdre et il y va encore. C'est Davy un peu qui m'a sauvé grâce à Karaté Combat. C'est lui qui m'a fait rentrer dedans. Et voilà, maintenant j'en suis là pour la ceinture et je vais aller la chercher pour lui. Pour cette ceinture, je vais vraiment tout faire. Je me suis entraîné dur, je m'entraîne dur. Je vais tout donner pour le club, pour ma famille, pour tout le monde. Et je vais le mettre KO. Et il le sait, je vais le mettre KO. Le matin, boxe anglaise, l'après-midi, cardio, muscu. Et voilà. C'est ça tous les jours, toute l'année. Bah, c'est la discipline, hein. ça apprend à forger un caractère. Discipline, rigueur, ponctualité, ça passe par là. J'ai trimé, je viens de loin, et croyez-moi, c'est pas lui qui va m'arrêter. C'est moi, je suis fou, de demande à qui vous voulez, mes gars, mes coachs, même ma famille, c'est... savent, savent que je suis fou. Je m'appelle Ilyes Mardi, j'ai 23 ans. Dis The Man Man, le fou, le meilleur monde de 61 de karaté combat. Je vous aurais prévenu. My name is Owen Chamier, and I'm representing the Republic of Ireland and Mauritius. When I was about four, my mother enrolled me into karate classes. I immediately fell in love with the art. Within weeks, I began competing and haven't looked back since. By age eight, I was winning national and world titles, traveling all over the world to compete. My mother, who already had a karate background, became my trainer and sensei. She has provided me with the opportunity to travel all over the globe, to train with and compete against some of the best fighters out there. My mother is my coach, my manager, and my trainer. She is the leader in the family. She oversees all the technicalities, which leaves me with the simple task of just fighting. Following in her footsteps, My brother and I became world karate champions. Thanks to her, I have a wealth of combat experience under my belt. And combining that with my natural hunger to fight makes me a serious threat for anyone to face. About two or three years ago, I heard about karate combat and began training and focusing on my eventual debut here. There's no secrets to my training. I train every single day. I don't believe in off days or rest days. My work ethic is to train hard, no shortcuts. Be prepared to get hit, maintain focus, and stay disciplined. And I believe that makes champions. Fighting is in our DNA. We grow up hearing inspiring stories and folklore tales of legendary Irish warriors, like Cúchulainn, a mythical Irish demigod who is told to have single-handedly defended his kingdom from invading armies. I can't wait to showcase the spirit of the fighting Irish at karate combat and represent my nation proudly. I've been blessed with the abilities to fight, and it's up to me alone to maximize these through hard work and dedication. My fight style is aggressive and explosive. I'm here for blood and knockouts. I'm prepared to get in there and trade with any man. I ain't taking a step back in there. There will be no frills with me. I'm here to do business. What an exciting title fight this is coming up at 61 kilos. Elias Mardi versus Owen Chalmier. Let's head down to the front of the pit where Andrea Ocampo is with league president, Mr. Adam Kovac. Hey guys, I'm standing here with Adam Kovac and he's going to be talking to us about the upcoming title match. But before we do so, let's talk about the match that we just saw that still is leaving us reeling. Yeah, oh my God, I mean, uh, I'm still speechless. You know, I'm sweating. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, uh, it, it was incredible. I mean, this was probably one of, if not the best fight we have ever done in karate combat. Um, Davies Ferreras and Vitaly Sertan, I mean, what else can you ask for? It was amazing. Four rounds, uh, it, it was incredible. The crowd absolutely loved it. Yeah, Adam, I loved it too. And can you please talk to us about the new 61 kilo title coming up? Sure. So with season three, we introduced a new category, the 61 division. We set up a tournament with eight guys and we had uh, Owen Chelmia and Elias Mardi basically going through everybody and now they meet here for the final. Well, a match that we definitely don't want to miss. 
Yes, it is a match you definitely want to miss. Mr. Bas Rutten, Ilias Mardi, and Owen Chalmier is coming up next. Uh, interestingly, these are two of the younger guys in the division, and they're the guys who found themselves picked for this title bout. Uh, Ilias Mardi, we've seen him four times before, three and one record. This guy's a little bit crazy. He's, and that has the nickname, The Madman. This guy is all over the place, like his trainer, Davy Dona. He's a very wild fighter, but he's accurate as well. He's powerful everywhere. Uh, he promises a lot to knock out his, in his last fight, which he won, but he broke his hand. He says, unfortunately, he couldn't do it. This time, he really wants a knockout. And I've got to say, when we spoke to him before this bout, he was more fired up than I've ever seen him before. I mean, he was jumping around just in the interview, ready to go. Let's talk about uh, his opponent tonight. Owen Chelmia. This is a real kind of Cinderella story this season. You know, he came in as a qualifier, fantastic performance, returned very quickly, another absolutely banging fight. Uh, straight away, he finds himself in a title fight. Yeah, this guy is uh, like, if you're talking about pressure, that's the guy. He comes forward, he will never go backwards. Constant pressure, constant punching. What he did the last time was a lot of smack talk, and he said, I did it a little bit too much. Today I wanted to do it a little less. He said, because, I said, why would you do it? He said, to get my opponent angry. Because if they're angry, they start making mistakes. They start loading up their strikes or their kicks. So this guy has stamina. I mean, we were talking at the beginning of the fight, the first round, they said, there's no way that he can keep this up for three rounds. And guess what? He held it up for three rounds. If, he, if not, he made it harder in the last round. I mean, endless energy, so both of these guys, young guys, like you said, is going to be a barn burner. Yeah, there really could be a tremendous pace to this one. On that note, Lioto, a uh, title fight, you've got to prepare perhaps differently physically, mentally. Uh, what are your thoughts on preparing for a title fight versus a normal fight? So it's very important to understand because mentally is the one aspect that you cannot change your mind. So you, every fight is the same. You have to be, you have to give your best in every single fight. But physically, of course, you change a little bit because it's a different fight when you have a three rounds fight or five rounds fight. It's completely different. And the strategy that you put in three rounds fight is very different when you have a five rounds fight. Well, let's see uh, which of these guys is going to potentially switch up their practice. Uh, Robin Black, you've got a lot of footage of these two young men to break down. Guys, family, you can expect controlled chaos and complexity when these two meet in this title fight. Owen Chalmia, this kid is exciting and he's fast. Okay, okay, I did speed that up. But you can see all of these punches landing. This is his first finish in karate combat. The right hook lands. He sinks into the left hip, lands the left, and then both of these again. When he does detach from connection, watch, when he goes to finish this one, he starts using that left hand as a measuring system and then lining up the punch. This was his second fight in karate combat, and here he battered the arms. If you want to shell up against him, he will bash away. Limb destruction, the philosophy of destroying the armor of the opponent. And he will turn and kick here into the arm, smash the arms up, and then what happens? It's tougher to use your arm, so when he comes up to block, or when he anticipates the shot to the arm, big up and over to the head. This kid is so talented, and he flows so beautifully when he puts the whole game together. He, uh, he uses range very, very well. Here's the jab, and he's out of distance when the counter comes. Look at this defensive system here. The elbow will flare, and he'll use it to goaltend here, protecting himself from both the kick and the punch, whatever's coming. He's defensively very, very sound, but there are moments where this kid will just let it all go, and you see it right here. He's trying to undermine the confidence of his opponent, but he's taking shots by doing it. And if he does it against Elias Marty, he's going to take some big, big shots. This kid's exciting as well. When he spins here, look, he will peek behind first, and when he sees the guard come up, watch, he will adapt his weapon and swing it around that guard. This guy is adapting and improvising and innovating in real time. Off the head kick, he will slide away as he lands the hook and moves away from the counter shot. Look at this one. When this piston hits your body, right here, dude, that one you will feel in your skeleton. One more look. Look at the way he adapts here. His men will move forward to take away the space for the spinning hook kick. What does he do? He wraps it around. Not full impact, but he finds the target nonetheless. These two are going to face each other in a wonderful title fight, and I can't wait to enjoy the hostilities, my friends. <laughs> yes, thank you very much, Robin. We can't wait either. Ladies and gentlemen at home, for the final time in season three of Karate Combat, it is time for your main event. Je suis Elias Mardi, je suis un showman, je suis fort, je suis fou. Comme me dit mon coach, j'ai toutes les armes. Franchement, il peut rien m'arriver. 
My name is Owen Chalmier from the Republic of Ireland. Anything Illies can think of, I'll be hitting him with. Every technique possible he can imagine for the full five rounds. La victoire représente la ceinture de champion du monde. Ça représente tout, c'est le combat de ma vie. J'attends que ça. I'm probably the most high-risk fight in this division. A lot of people won't take that fight. When I secure that championship belt, everyone will want it. And that's exactly what I want. Everyone in this weight division. What a title fight this will be. Ilias Mardi in the white pants. Owen Chelmia in the black pants. It's France versus Ireland for the 61 kilo golden belt. And Bass, a very stoic Owen Chelmia. <laughs> yeah, no movement whatsoever. But don't get fooled because once the fight starts, there's one movement and that is forward. And Marty will be all over the place. That's cool. Big contrast. Well, there is the tail of the tape for Ilias Mardi in the red corner. 23 years old from Paris, France. He's got a 3 and one record. If there is a criticism, it's that all three wins have come by way of decision. And he's looking for his first stoppage here at Karate Combat. <laughs> the statuesque figure of Owen Chelmia fighting out of Arles in Ireland, although originally born in London over in the UK, studying electrical engineering as a research student at university, but he's been putting quite a record together here at Karate Combat 2-0 leading into this title fight. Wow, zero movement. He didn't even blink, I think. Was he breathing? <laughs> <laughs> no breathing. There we go. It's interesting, Owen Chelmia's main coach is his mother, who's never missed really any of his fights and, uh, you know, really does give him the inspiration he needs with his performances so far. Ready? Ready? There we go. Our referee Mark Goddard gets this one underway. No touch of gloves. Five three-minute rounds should they need them. And Chelmia opens up first with a kick to the legs from the center of the pit. And here we go. Let's see what happens with movement. Look at that, using the wall. Yeah, good body lock from uh, Mardi, but Chelmia yeah. floats up against the wall, looks for that little Uchimata, and he's got to be careful, he's not backed up here. Good kick of the nice. leg from Mardi, but quickly wrapped up in guard to stop the action from Chelmia, but it's a nice first sequence from the Frenchman. Yep. Josh Palmer, Bas Rutten, and the Dragon, Lyoto Machida, pit side for this one. Thank you for joining us here at Karate Combat. Yeah, he was talking about that he was talking uh, crap to his opponent in his native language, which was his last opponent was ah, also yes. French. He's actually <laughs> only four Frenchmen so far, that's <laughs> yeah. quite surprising. So this is his third Frenchman, <laughs> yes. and he knows the language, apparently the bad words, I think. He's been practicing. Yeah. But that is total gamesmanship, because out of yep. the pit, he's, he's the most respectful young man you'll ever talk to. 100%. Nice, nice cross kick to the side. Well, just closing the distance there, locking up against the pit wall. And they're going to wait for a stand up from the referee, separating themselves in the end. Tell me, staying light on the feet as he comes forward, and that's a good counter from Marty. Yep. Very good count. You see, immediately, Chelmia gets that head position. That's forcing Marty to be further away from him. Not able to execute any takedowns. Good jab to the. The body there. Yep, most of the time it's going to be a setup for something else. Good attack from Marty. Oh, good switch stance to come back in from Chelmia. Looks for that trip, then down to the pick. Good work from Marty. Nice yeah. straight one, two. Very, very straight shots. Yeah, that was great striking. And it's kicks, everything is working. Chelmia finds his way in with a left, little exchange, but nobody getting too much uh, in the way of damage there. Going back. Get 
again, that sidekick for Mardi. It lands very nicely to the body of Chelmy, and he lands a two excellent shots and circles out. Beautiful footwork from the Frenchman. Exactly. I was just going to say the same thing. He's in and out, connects, connects, and boom, he's gone. And Chelmy moving forward all the time. Yep. That's what his style It's constantly coming in, coming in. You know? And Mardi, you can see he's practiced that weapon to keep the range. Solid first round from both guys there, perhaps Elias Mardi getting some of the, the veteran exchanges. I think so, because he was mixing the kicks up better, he connected with more strikes. Let's take Beautiful. a look at some of the replays here. That was a good kick. I like the calf kick, but I, I like strike. the Yoko Giri that Madri just did, you know, so good because he can keep the distance, at the same time he can hurt his uh, chairman. Yep. Great kick there again from uh, Marty. And Leoto, talk to me about this in-out style from Marty. That was the, one, that was the straight one too, but then he got backed up against the corner here and he hit and circled all in one motion. It was beautiful. So Chelme is a good matchup for Marty because he's coming for us all the time. So for the guy who moves a lot and likes to counter, so it's good for Marty because Chelme, he doesn't stop. He always tries to come and he's in the right range for 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 take some punches and and kicks through. So he's a little bit more predictable because it's constant forward motion. Yeah, but Chum is so aggressive, you can see that. You can see his face, no emotion, and so aggressive. Uh, second round underway here. Marty opens up with a leg kick. Another side kick. And as you said there, Lioto, immediately aggressive. Chelmia once again pressing forward. Beautiful. Eats a lot of shots to the guard, but not too much pop on that kick oh, from Marty. That's a beautiful oh. combination. He gets dropped to the canvas. He's recovered quickly. But it's a good sequence from Chelmier in his most decisive moment of the fight so far. He is a little taste, it looks like. Yeah, you can see that's why Chelmier is pushing yeah. immediately straight back. And uh, that's interesting defensive posture. Tries to load up the throw. Very interesting. That's very interesting, yeah. Fans, have you spotted any differences in, in uh, the game plans from either of these two from the previous uh, times we've seen them? Well, I, in round two, you saw Chelmia started bouncing a little bit more back and forth. So I think that from the first round, since he was so happy with his performance because his opponent did really well, you know, he started changing his style a little bit. More loose, right? More yeah. loose. More loose, yeah. And moving in and out and in and out. You see, he didn't do this in the first round, he was just moving forward. Yeah. And Marty's really good with his legs and to keep his opponent outside that distance. But he has to watch out. So the leg, Marty wins that. Yeah. And Chelmi, Chelmi, I think his punches are better. Yeah, when, uh, when Elias Marty joined us, he was the youngest competitor on the entire roster. And, uh, you know, he's still only just 23 years old. Chelmi, uh, by contrast, is uh, you know, just a year uh, older. Yeah, and although actually I just said this with the head, but Marty, if I think back about number one, you know, the beautiful one-two that he landed twice, right? That that was yep. really crisp. Yep. Yeah, probably straighter shots than we've seen him throw. For exactly. Yeah. So Chalm Chalm has a good eyes. You can see he's, he's not even blink when he's in the in the middle of the fight. No, he can see everything. You see? Yep. Constantly up. Oh, he ate a shot there, though, and that's good head movement from Marty, but he runs out of space. <laughs> Laying backwards, like, come on, buddy. I'm just tanning. Oh, 30 seconds again. left in round number two. Beautiful one, two. And movement right after. He's doing a great job. Beautiful, look at that. Yeah, but okay, cool finish it. Cool. Yeah. But, you know, he improved a lot. Yeah. And he was yeah. already good, but this, I, I really like what I'm seeing. I think he's improved, in, improved in the clinch as well. Yep. Look at that. The cross kick, side kick, Yoko Giri. All three same. Looks really good. Last couple of seconds here and another round in the books. Touch of gloves as they part ways. Both still looking very fresh, but a, a good solid work rate throughout. Yeah. Let's take a look back at some of the replays here. Boom. What do you think about this round? Boom, boom. 
Beautiful. Look at that beautiful combination. He didn't put the power behind that. That's where he connect. That was nice. Look at this. Completely, yeah. I never saw that. Nope. Keep momentum going. <laughs> Beautifully timed. But it didn't work out in the end. That sidekick, that's a great weapon that he has. Yeah, he's really able he to keep the distance well. with that. As we take a look in the corner of Ilias Mardi, looking very fresh, he told us that uh, you know his coaches and his training partners had really smashed him in this camp, more so than usual, so he felt like his conditioning was going to be good for all five rounds. Well, that's it, you know, I always tell people, if you're a painter and you bring half a can of paint and so you cannot finish it, why would you be a painter? So it's important to, to, go, to be able to go the full distance. It's a good kick from Marty. It was subtle, but, uh, you know, caught Chalmier stepping forward. Yeah, and it's five rounds, you know, kicks like that constantly are going to be very effective in the end. And it show, slows down the movement of your opponent. That was a good kick from Chelmia. Nice front kick there. That was beautiful. From Marty again. Yeah, he tried to time it into an outside trip, but uh, no luck. Good timing on that counter, a little push. Chomia switching stances around, they're toe to toe now. So as you said, Buzz, he starts to like bounce a little bit, Chomia. Yeah. Marty's just so elusive when they get into those flurries. That head movement, uh, you know, completely took him out of the way. Yeah, and also the way he moved out of his, his feet immediately. Let him miss, moving to the side. That was a good kick from Chelmia. Good thud to the midsection, but again they tie up and nobody able to get the better of the clinch exchange. One, two, again, he worked on that because they're crisp, they're nice. They are, and Chomia was just happy to take it on the guard. Dangerous it. in the five-ounce gloves, though. He did it again, Marty, moving out of the way. Marty looks, looks more technical, right? Yep. With the punches and kicks as well, and the combinations as well. The combinations of them, that's, that's the key here. Yeah, I mean, usually we see that level of technicality from Owen Chomia. Exactly, but you know, now it's like because Marty found a way, I mean, this is how they train them. They know they were going to fight, face a guy who comes forward the whole time. Okay, so let's do that in training. And that's how you see, see, if he doesn't move, he doesn't move. Yeah. Everything is on the counter. Moving out of the way constantly. So Owen needs to lure him into a corner, but you know, again, look at that. Yep. It's beautiful movement. It's very hard to do, and especially with these corners because you can use the wall. And we do expect this kind of speed Boom. from the 61 kilo fighters. Again, though, Marty eats that in the oh. midsection, tries to fight back himself. They're good shots. Chomia trying to bob and weave and find his way in. Ten seconds left in round number three. We are probably going to be going to the championship rounds. Yeah, if. If Chelmia is not talking, he should start talking now. Because maybe when you trigger your opponent and get him angry, that's when they start making mistakes. You know, because Marty is fighting a really good fight. Yeah, strategically very good. Let's take Frankie. a look at some of the replays very here. Very good, Mike Very good, Mike Yep. Boom! That's kicked to the body there. But closing the distance too fast. Nice. There's a shot. Yeah, a shot of Owen Chelmier and his mother in his corner. Standing, trying to show that he's not tired. But uh, Bas Lioto, there's something that's got to change for Owen Chelmier here. Because you feel like he's starting to drop behind a little bit. Yep. No, and you're 100% right. I mean, it's, uh, it's not mixing it up enough. You know, the movement is... Uh, be di it's di being difficult for him right now. To move yeah. somebody. I don't think I don't think Chama has to change his game. You know, he's trying to play the game of Madri, which is good for Madri. So he has to keep push forward to to put his game. 
Well, he's got uh, a maximum of six minutes left to do so. Another three on the clock here as we start the first of our championship rounds. Remember to follow us on social media at Karate Combat or join us on the web, karate.com, for all your information on the promotion. Chelmia continually moving forward. We really didn't expect him not to, but uh, he's got to find a way to stop the movement of Ilias Mardi here. Yeah, and then again, the one two is being very effective the whole fight. And again, moving out of the way. Tell me, I'm happy to eat shots on the guard as he comes in. Mardi, conversely, is happy to eat one of those to the body as he moves away. They tussle again in the clinch here. Not really too much to separate them on that occasion. Oof. That's a good kick again. And again, they tie up once more in the middle. Same kind of exchanges happening repeatedly here. Chelmi are pushing forward. Oh, and he can't do that's a good sequence. He kicks the legs out yeah. from yeah. the Irishman and flurries on top. Down to the last minute of round number four. Wow. So I can say Mother is so technical. He is he used foot sweep, he used everything. And the Yoko Giri side kick. Which is good, right? Yeah, and, on, and on top of that movement, his movement is great. You know, every time you get him in the corner, watch, he's going to be out of it in a bit. Oh, okay, this may be the one time it's not. Yeah, I mean, th this is when we're really going to see the pace and, and if the conditioning pays off. The only problem that I see for Madi is the short distance because uh, Chalmers wants the short distance. And he has to be very aware at the end of his movement. I mean, like Madi, because, you know, in karate we call that Zanshin. You gotta, keep, you gotta be ready for the end of moment to block, to move backward, or to do another combination. Otherwise, Xiaomi can have some advantage over Madri in the short distance. Well, we end round number four. We're going to be going to a fifth and final round. Let's take a look back at some of the replays from round number four. Uh, boom! Side kick fights its target. Beautiful right again. This movement, that beautiful kick. And it's a powerful kick. Bang, bang, Ooh, look at that. Very good. Yeah, connected. Kizami Zuki and Gyaku Zuki, very clean. Yep. Wow, looks very good. One last look at Owen Chelmia in the corner there. Let's see if uh, he comes out firing on all cylinders. He may, he may appreciate that he has to go for broke here in this fifth and final round. He knows, but he, you know, but he can't. He can't lock him up. It's constantly moving. Yeah, and on the occasion when Marty isn't moving out of the way, he does a good job of initiating a clinch and yep. completely stalling all the action uh, to, to get it reset. Yeah, there's been some great game planning going on in Marty's camp. I can tell you that. Yeah, really good. He did, Marty did tell us that he was mentally more focused for this five-round fight than he's perhaps been for any of his other appearances here at Karate Combat. And I think that's showing. Well, listen, if, he, uh, if he's going to win this fight, um, he's only going to get better and better because the, the improvement he made, improvements he made since last time are pretty dramatic. He was already good. He said in the opening, the guy's already, he's got great, great accuracy, everything. But sometimes he's a little bit too wild, but that wild, he took away. Would be the calculated wild man, wild man, should be his nickname. 
as the time go by, I believe that Trump has more advantage because of the distance, you know. Yep. He has to, to he, he's going to the short distance more and more because it's hard to Madrid to keep the distance all the time and stop stop the guy over there yeah. because it, it, it requires a lot of energy. Madrid's escaping less and less out of the corner now. Oh, yeah. yeah. But at the same time, he is managing to tie it up here, which is buying him time. We've only got two minutes left in this entire fight now. I perhaps like to see Chelmia try and break those ties more aggressively and throw the hooks off the break. Yeah. Oh, there again he landed. Chelmia's cut the angle really good. He always ahead of Mari. See? Yeah, good uh, pitmanship, should we say? Yeah, but then again, you know, but, but he can't stop him. Oh, it's a big shot Was by a shot? Chelmia, lands a left hand on the way in. A little bit of ground and pound, and he, he wants Marty back up on his feet as quickly as possible because he's got just a minute and ten seconds left to go to work here. Well, this happened in round one as well, and Marty survived that. Later in the round, though, it will do more damage, right? A, a punch, so let's see what happens. See here, I'd like to see him try and dictate a break rather than accept a complete reset. The crowd firmly pushing these two fighters on as we approach the final 40 seconds of this championship bout. See, if I was Chelmia here, I would push him away constantly. I would never be in this position right now. Yeah. Because he's got 30 seconds to go. That's what I'm saying. Dictate the break. Constantly. Short yeah. shots off the yeah. break. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You said it. We're through a frantic 14 and a half minutes. There's just 30 seconds, well, 20 seconds left now. Chelmia again driving forward. Marty on his bike, circling all the time. And that's oh, a nice yeah. snapping yeah. roundhouse kick. How cool in the fifth round. Little jumping kick. Three, two, one. That is going to do it for this championship fight here. They both raise their hands up. And it was an impressive performance from both young men. I mean, you've got to remember, both these guys, just 23 and 24 years old. It's amazing. I mean, I, I started fighting at 28 my, uh, my MMA career. It was late. <laughs> But I did Thai boxing before, that, okay. Boom, look at that, makes a backflip. A backflip from Ilya no, no, no. He thinks no, he's coming no, no. yeah. We've got replays coming right now from the fifth and final round. For one more time, gents, give us your thoughts on that last round's action. So I like the cuff kick and also the combination because Chum is always over, over mother, you know? He, he doesn't want to give a time in to even breathe. Yeah, he's get frustrated. He wants to go forward the whole time he wants to fight. But Marty's going in and out and in and out. Boom, look at that. Out of nowhere. And that was the last round. Yeah. When he did that, the fifth round. And then he just walked up here and made a backflip. Yeah. It's like, whatever, man, I'm not tired. <laughs> Well, bear with us here, ladies and gentlemen. We are just well. We have got a sixth and final round, unbelievably, for the second time in one night. Our special round provision has been triggered, and Ilias Mardi. There's something going on with his hand. Yeah. yeah. He Has he really hand? broken his hand again? Because he broke his hand against Hasanov. Well, this is interesting here. Yeah, what we ended up with was a potential split draw, but the referees can say that they can opt for another round to try and decide the difference. We, of course, saw that in our opening bout here this evening. Oh, and Chelmi is walking around like there's nothing left in this oh, fight. No. It's going to get waved off. What a strange occurrence. We're just going to get clarification here from our head official and our referee. I think Ilias Mardi has, has uh, either snapped his forearm or broken part of his hand. 
for that sudden death round due to a broken arm or broken hand, which means that Owen Chelmia is going to take the win by injury TKO here and become our first 61 kilo champion. What a turn of events. Yeah, this is, this is crazy. I know, well, the, the, apparently what they say always, aggression counts the most, they say. Right, so the pushing forward had to have been the reason. Well, let's go, uh, we'll break this down a bit more for you once uh, we get the official decision made here, but let's go down into the pit and get the official decision from this title bout. <laughs> There we see Owen Chelmia receiving the golden belts from our league president, Mr. Adam Kovac, and Sensei Lioto Machida. So our new 61 kilo champion is down in the middle of the pit with our broadcast colleague, Andrea Ocampo, to give his thoughts on that bow. Oh, and quite the finish. Congratulations. I'm sure you're feeling a lot of mixed feelings. Can you please walk us through as to what you're feeling right now? Yeah, definitely. It's a in a confusing moment it's what you work extremely hard to get and that's not the way you want to win it's very unfortunate but i have no doubt that we'll run this back and it'll be a 10 times better fight next time oh and very commendable for you both you know any thoughts on obviously your opponent what would you like to say to him just i'd love to fight him again i'd love to set this straight not not i don't want to win it this way i want to finish him or make it completely undisputed i don't want any arguments against it well you saw it here folks the story does not end here well sir congratulations for thank you very much ladies and gentlemen Owen Chalmia what a uh, what a respectful acceptance speech from Owen Chalmia you yeah. heard it from him that's not the way he wants to win it but nonetheless on this occasion that is the way he has won it as he raises his new golden belt up into the air and pays respects to the crowd here as he said, a, you know, a personally confusing finish for him. I'm sure we're going to see a lot more from this young man. Let's get uh, pit side and get Mr. Robin Black's thoughts on that bout. You know, guys, the journey of the martial artist, especially the young martial artist, is about actualizing yourself, becoming your potentialities. And it's experiences like this that help the martial artist grow. Marty, with the injury, having to experience that kind of pain and loss, and then Owen Chelmia winning, but feed that, those feelings of uncertainty. This is part of their journey, and we'll get to see them continue it when they face each other again. Yes, thank you, Robin. We've got a, an extra interview here for you. Our broadcast colleague, Andrea Ocampo, is going to be down pit side with our referee, Mark Goddard, who's going to explain the ending to that bout. I'm standing here with Mark, the referee. You know, that was quite an emotional title fight. I know everybody's reeling. Can you please let us know as to why you stopped the fight? Yeah, at the end of the fifth, uh, under karate combat rules, if the judges denote an overtime round, it needs to be a split decision. It was a split decision, so the, over, the sixth overtime round was announced. Unfortunately, the fighter in the blue corner couldn't answer the bell. He told me he'd broke his hand and he's since retired himself out of the fight, which means his opponent will win via a valid TKO. Well, thank you so much for that clarification. Thank you. And we're going to take a look back at the montage of action from that title fight, Bass. Let's talk us through this. But, you know, first of all, Ilias Made, what a fantastic way of hiding that broken arm. We had no clue. No clue. Well, that's the last time exactly the same thing happened. He broke his hand and he kept on fighting. I mean, the guy's as tough as nails. I thought he did a phenomenal job. It's the one, two, so you're seeing it here right now. He landed those most of the time, 80% of them, if he was throwing them. And the movement was awesome. Yeah, talk about his defensive movement, because it was either laterally escaping or he was able to tie up in the clinch. Yeah, and not only escaping, but while he was escaping, he was first tagging the opponent, and then he was escaping. So, you know, with the legs and the hands included, you know, I was 
thinking he was leaning a little bit towards him, but you know what? In the rules, it says specifically, and I've been saying this in the openings of the show sometime, that aggression counts the most. And the aggression, the moving forward pressure the whole time, for Owen, that is probably the reason the judges did it. Yeah, and you have to remember that, that rounds are scored individually on each round. So, you know, the judges saw that maybe one round even and two rounds apiece. You know, it, it's not necessarily the content of the entire fight. You can just nick a round and lose a round by a bit more and it still counts one apiece. Yeah, exactly. You know, and, and, and always started connecting the later rounds more and more and more. You saw Marty was getting tired, but still landing the high kick in the last moment, you know, escaping, escaping what you said, actually. When he got tired, he didn't move out of the corner anymore, but he was never out of the fight, ever. You know, he's still connecting with punches for the one two that about wraps it up for season three here from karate combat bass what a fantastic night of fights we've had with a little bit of a strange ending in our main event there yeah we've been talking about it but you know what a rematch will come and that is the good thing that comes out of it i absolutely cannot wait uh leoto machida you've seen some karate combat before but now you've experienced an event Give us your thoughts on Karate Combat. So, to be honest, I have been very impressed. I believe these, these fighters can compete anywhere. Nice. And Andrea Ocampo, thank you very much for joining us, showing us around the future. Uh, you fancy coming back to uh, present day with us? Yes, I would love to. I mean, if that's okay. I mean, there's a couple of things that I missed in 2020 and my Miami Dolphins winning the Super Bowl in 2022. Oh, I can't wait. Oh, hey, by the way, Andrea, you were freaking awesome tonight. Thank you. Whoa, 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 wait a minute. What, what did you just say? Oh, I shouldn't have said that. Oh, I'm going to be rich. Ah, uh, Mr. Robin Black, your pit side analysis has been invaluable. Do you have a bink of the entire season three for us? So difficult. There were so many wonderful moments. You know, we're going to have to make a, a top ten binks of the season for Karate Combat Social. But I honestly think we got to give it to one. It was Sertan and Ferreira tonight. Not just the head kick that finished it, but the heroic and inspiring performance by both those gentlemen. Yeah, what an absolute bomb burner of a fight that was. Uh, from Leonzo Machida, Andrea Acampo, and Robin Black, we will see you in season four. Uh, what do you think we should do for season four, buddy? I mean, between uh, space and time, we've kind of covered everything. Yeah, I think so too. But uh, to tell you the truth, I think that this season has been my favorite. And the reason why is because we were back in time to Okinawa, find out the roots of karate. Then we went to the 1980s Hollywood and the push that it got in all these Hollywood movies. And now we're seeing what it is today. I mean, it's just so freaking awesome. I mean, I, hey, messing with time, you see? It's been a good thing for us. I think <laughs> you got lucky. Uh, to those of you at home, thank you very much for joining us for all of season three of Karate Combat. We will be back with the season four we don't know where, we don't know when, and we don't quite know what trouble Bas Rudin is going to get us into. But from Bas Rudin, myself, Josh Palmer, and everyone else on the team, we will be bringing you more fights from the pit. Farewell! Farewell, my future world! Thank you, everybody! Ah! I've got the boombox for Danny Trail. Ah, never mind. I left it in the garage. I'm going to leave it. <laughs> <laughs>